What's up guys, Coach Jesse Mitchell with GetHandles.com. Today I'm gonna to show you a breakdown of how to do the Hakeem Olajuwon Dream Shake. So the Dream Shake is basically, this is something a lot of players use nowadays. Michael Jordan even kind of used it a little bit further out. But basically what it's gonna be is, you're gonna have your back to your defender, okay? And from there, all it's gonna be is you can take, you can either do it with a little step or even just shifting the shoulders back like you're about to spin this way. Or you could do both, take a step and kind of shift your shoulders like you're turning back this way a little bit, okay? To get your defender to move this way. And you can even do a couple of them in there quick. And sometimes Elijah Wong would do some you know, real quick ones back and forth. But the main dream shake would be just turning one way and then taking a front pivot forward. So if I'm gonna turn this way, my left foot's coming forward, okay? So I'm gonna step back with that left foot a little bit or shift my shoulders back to that left shoulder and then turn that same side forward. And then from there, you can do this at different distances. You can do it a little bit further away for a jump shot. You can do it a little bit closer for a layup. And then Elijah Wong would even branch off of this a lot. He would come from here, throw another fake, and then come across the basket sometimes. He would come here, come up, and then just come under. He would even come here, throw a fake here, and then come back around the other way with another pivot, a back pivot. So there's a lot of different ways you can you know, use this, but the main one is basically comes down to going here, coming up and then coming around. Two key tips to getting this down and making it more effective is one, making sure this first movement and, and then the counter movement is quick. So you wanna be quick here, turn around quick. And then the other key is you wanna make sure you get your eyes on the hoop as quickly as possible because your back's to it, right? So you wanna make sure that as soon as you start getting to this point here that using your peripheral vision to start locking in on the basket and then continuing to lock in even more as you turn around. That's gonna give you more time to lock in on that shot and improve that shooting percentage, especially from further out. But even for the closer ones, it's easy to overlook. You know, oh, I gotta get my eyes on the basket. And you might not get your aim where you need it to be. Or you might find yourself in a position where you can't get the shot off because you're under the basket. So getting those eyes locked in early can be a huge difference in you making or missing the shot. Make sure you click this link in the top right hand corner screen. That's a free workout that's already helped thousands of players. And it's probably gonna help you too. All you have to do is click that link, pop in your email, and I'll send that workout to you right away for free. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and get on that notification squad. And as always, leave a comment down below. If there's anything else you wanna see or learn from my channel, that's the place to let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and get after your goals today.